In Grand Haven, there's an effort to raise money tonight to improve safety at the beach. Yeah, it's all part of an initiative started last summer. 24 Hour News 8's Whitney Burney speaking to officers about the changes that will save lives. 14 life rings and signs just like this one line the beach here at Grand Haven State Park. It seems like a small addition, but officers and rescue squads hope that it makes a huge difference. I plan to do everything I can to prevent another senseless death. The tragic loss 15 years ago that started it all. 17-year-old Andy Fox died in September 2003 after getting caught in a rip current. It's not the same anymore. I mean, there's someone missing. Police say since then they've averaged about two drownings every year, three this past year. It's too many. I mean, one is too many, and we can't avoid everything, but the, the better that we can make it, the, the safer people can be out here. As a part of a beach safety initiative, police added 14 life rings and zoning signs, something they say can get them to drowning victims much faster. And seconds are important on a, on a water rescue. And there's been times where we've gotten out here, and if we would have been here, you know, if we would have been able to find that caller or that victim a couple minutes earlier, the results could have been different. They also added an AM transmitter that continuously broadcasts safety information. Tonight, Grand Haven police are partnering with the local Rotary Club at the Chinook Pier Farmers Market, hoping to raise $20,000 for the program. So it definitely makes it real when you see what has happened and also when you see the people that risk their lives to save those individuals. Memorial signs like Andy Fox's, a daily reminder of the reasons they're doing this. I live here, I have three small kids, so anything that can make that beach safer for families is important to our entire club. They say if their efforts only save one life, it would be worth it. The fundraiser for the Beach Safety Initiative will be from 6 to 9 tonight, but if you can't make it, we'll have a link at woodtv.com if you'd like to donate. Reporting in Grand Haven, Whitney Burney, 24-Hour News 8.